they hurt. Today I'm going to show you how to make easy peasy caramel corn. This is one of my go-to recipes when I'm creating gifts, especially at the holidays, and I love it because A, it's easy. I think it takes like six ingredients. I can make multiple batches at a time, and I can make lots and lots of Christmas gifts. And it's one of my most anticipated gifts that I give out every single year. So let me show you how to make easy peasy caramel corn. Okay, let's get going on the ingredients. There aren't very many. The first thing you want is puff corn. I buy Chester's brand. The reason you want puff corn is there are no kernels because you don't want to eat caramel corn with kernels. The next thing you're going to be adding here is some baking, is some uh, brown sugar. You've got some butter. I just buy generic brand from the grocery store. I salted butter. Baking soda. you got some light corn syrup. I buy Caro brand. And then a little pinch of salt. And then you're going to need some vanilla. Now, I make homemade vanilla, and I just keep it in this Publix container. And there's my vanilla. And I can, you will find a recipe for homemade vanilla on my blog. It's a great, great, great gift. Anyhow, dump your corn into your bowl. It's about a 3.25 ounce bag of corn. And then you, in your saucepan, you have two sticks of butter, one cup of packed sugar, brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half cup of light corn syrup, and I love this, this OXO measuring cup because you can see what you're doing. And I will link everything for you in the blog post. Go to the blog post for all of the links. And we're gonna scrape all that out. You don't wanna miss any of that yummy goodness. And then you're gonna bring this to a boil, a rolling boil. And you're gonna stir, when it comes to a boil, you need to stir constantly, otherwise it's gonna burn. And you're gonna cook it for between two and three minutes. There is an example of a rolling boil. I cook mine about three minutes because I like my caramel corn to be crunchy. If you want it a little more softer, you can cook it a little bit less. So I use my Alexa for my timer, and when my Alexa goes off, I'm gonna grab my baking soda. It's already measured and ready to go, and I'm gonna dump it in. I don't want it to burn, so I turn, take it off the heat, and I stir it in. And then I'm going to pour it on top of the puff corn in the, in the bowl. And then you got to work quickly because this is going to set up really, really quick. Air, you know, it's cooling off. It's going to get hard. And keep in mind that everything is really hot. The bowl, the spoon, the pan, everything. And you're just going to stir as quick as you can. Get it mixed up as much as you can. And then you can mix it up again after it's, when it's baking. But in the meantime, you can see how it's kind of hardened on the bowl. You're gonna dump all of that in your baking sheet and you're gonna spread it out in a nice, um, you know, smooth layer, smooth-ish layer, not clumped all up so they can bake really evenly. And you're gonna bake between 30 and 45 minutes. I bake 30 minutes. Now, what I do is I have multiple, multiple batches in the oven at a time. I have my three racks and I set my Alexa timer and when I, one timer goes off and I stir it, I put a little tick mark. So once it has two tick marks, I know that it's time to take it out of the oven. Um, that way I'm not cooking and it's not taking me 14 hours to make different batches of caramel corn. So I, can, I took me from start to finish in the bags, decorated, ready to go, four hours. So this is an example of seven batches of caramel corn. This is seven bags of caramel corn. I have three more in the oven, all hardening, drying, getting ready to go. Now, I made these tags a really long time ago, and I will link to the blog post and video about these. And I love this twine. So what I did was I have these bags I get from Paper Mart, and I'll link, as I said, I'll link everything in the blog post. And I take my twine, and I put it into my tag. And what I did to the bags was I didn't um, fill the bags up completely to the top, because I wanted room to fold the bag over, and I twist it really, really tight, and then I tie it, and then I hold it tightly together with a twist tie. You see how I did that right there? And that way this corn will last two or three weeks in the bag, it won't get stale. Then I take this tag and I wrap it around on the top of the twist tie so you don't really see it. And if you know who your recipient's going to, it's easier to write on the tag beforehand, but since I was doing the video, I didn't know who was getting what. Tie it as tight as you can, and that way it will also help seal the bag and cut off your ends. And that is how you make easy peasy caramel corn, and it's great for all of your friends and relatives. 
Now this is one of my most requested, anticipated gifts for Christmas, and I just love how they're all stacked up and how amazing they all look, and they're ready to give away as presents. Okay, I hope you love that and found it really easy to make. And if you like what you heard and what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notified of any video that I happen to drop into Positively Jane on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.